Okay, so today I'm going to be making some pot roast. So all I'm doing here is just seasoning it up with a little bit of Lari's seasoning salt. And I'm also going to use this blend of black pepper. It's like a like, like garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt. And then it got a little bit of like Italian herb mix in it. And I love it. It tastes so good. So I'm just rubbing that in really good because I want my pot roast to be good in season. Turning it around on the other side and season it up again. I just want to show you all the different angles so you can kind of see how much seasoning I use. Because um, this is a thick piece of meat, so I want to make sure it's tasting nice and good. Mm. See all that uh, that um, garlic in there and that seasoning mix? I love it because it's just kind of all in one instead of using like separate seasonings, even though I do do that sometimes. So all I did was preheat my oven to 400 degrees. I got my crock pot that I'm gonna be cooking it in. It's my old school crock pot, you know, grandma's crock pot. <laughs> I'm gonna be cooking it in here for about four hours. Um, and then I'm gonna start checking it after about four hours or so. So again, I'm adding a little bit of this seasoning salt to the very bottom of the pot and a little bit of black pepper just because I want to make sure when all of my seasonings or when my meat is cooking and um, the seasoning starts to sop up in the grease that um, it can get all the extra seasonings in there too. So I didn't show you guys, but I actually am making two of these pot roasts. I know, I know. Two, you're probably thinking it's a lot and it is, but I have three sons and a husband and everybody eats so much in this house. So it just helps me if i can have extra leftover as well so after about four hours it was kind of looking like this um looks really good mm. and my house was smelling so good so all i'm doing here is just taking it apart with a fork just roughly chopping it up just trying to um make it into smaller pieces and i'm using two forks because this is, this is really really hot and i didn't want to take it out of the pot to do this so i'm just keeping it inside of the pot and it is steaming hot um so after i get this roughly chopped up i'm gonna add in my heinz chicken gravy Ooh, i swear by this stuff it is so so good so that's about how roughly i have it chopped i know that this isn't a traditional way of making pot roast but it's what works for me and my family and we actually love it so much so just try it and i promise you'll like it too so here's the gravy. It's just the Heinz home style chicken gravy. They have a, um, like a, I think it's a beef gravy or something like that, but I really just prefer the chicken gravy. So, um, so I'm working on my second can of gravy here. And I'm just gonna pour it in there really good. Make sure I get all of the gravy out because I do want it to be nice and, um, wet and like not dry at all because oof if it's one thing i hate it is a dry pot roast so here i am here just um mixing it in there just kind of seeing what i got if i have enough gravy if i need to add some more gravy and you'll just know after you do that and it looks like i did end up needing to add more and for that one i only added a half a can if you can tell i'm just gonna put the rest of that can up in the refrigerator and i will be able to use it again for another day so now I'm just going to place it in the oven. I did not put the top on there, if you noticed. It cooked the first time with the top on. The second time, uh, you want to make sure the top is off so that the gravy can get nice and warmed up throughout the meat. And now I'm just making some cornbread. I'm just I'm kind of running late on time because, like I said, this cooked for like four hours. So I'm just doing a jiffy box, something quick and simple. And I promise y'all that bowl is clean. <laughs> I promise it's clean. It just got stained because I had like some spaghetti sauce um, previously in that bowl. And I guess it's just one of those cheaper bowls. So yeah, it was looking like that, but I promise it was clean. Um, So here I'm just, you know, doing a traditional thing. One egg, a little bit of milk, and then I'm just mixing up that uh, Jiffy cornbread mix. I just feel like pot roast and cornbread is such a wonderful combination and you will probably notice that i am not making any vegetables with this dinner i know what y'all thinking like what no vegetables with it i know that pot roast is traditional to have uh, vegetables but i was running late on time 
and I was gonna do some greens like I had an idea of what I wanted to do but honestly it just fell through so pie roast and cornbread is what we're doing and I'm just spraying the bottom of this little cake pan with just a little bit of the best choice butter flavored non-stick spray and I'm pouring in my cornbread and surprisingly enough I actually I, my kids and I and my family, we eat quite a bit of vegetables and a lot of fruit. I just don't always cook with vegetables for dinner. I don't know why. I just don't. But if I do, um, it gets ate up for sure. Like all my children are not picky when it comes to vegetables. They will eat vegetables with no problem. So I'm blessed. Okay, so I got my cornbread made. I'm just going to put it in the oven on the bottom rack just below the pot roast because it is still in there cooking and getting nice and warm. Ooh, and the finished product. Oh my gosh, y'all. This looks so good. And I promise you, it's going to taste even better. So now that I just pulled it out, you see it's steaming. It's so hot. The gravy has cooked throughout and I'm just mixing it up. With this, I'm making rice. Yes, minute rice. <laughs> And the instructions are super simple. You can cook it in the microwave or on the stove, but I am going to go ahead and do it in the microwave. And my cornbread is ready. Ooh, and it's looking real good, too. Most people do mashed potatoes with their pot roast, but like I said, we're not really traditional. So, yeah, I did do rice. And here I'm just putting on a little bit of butter. Actually, I accidentally added too much butter, <laughs> but it's okay. And here's the finished product. You will notice that on the blue plate, it's a little bit more because that's Aiden's plate. He just eats more. He has a larger appetite. This is just the kid's plate. So, yeah, this is how it came out. And I promise you, if you just give it a try, you will love it, too, because it is so, 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 so good. Um, so you just put the rice down, put the gravy and the meat on top, cornbread on the side, and it is good to go. So thank you so much for watching this video. I mean, like if you want more videos, just like it and you all have a wonderful day.